Srinivasa Ramanujan, Judith Polgar, Stephen Hawking. All these names have one thing in common, and that is intelligence. These individuals have contributed life-altering and influential works that have changed the course of humanity in some way. They are the highest ideals of human intelligence, which some strive to become. However, just because you haven't proved Fermat's last theorem or made an outstanding contribution to the sciences or arts does not mean you don't possess intelligence. Whether it's doodling all the time or staying curious about the world, certain habits or tendencies that you do can turn out to be a sign of high intelligence. So without further ado, Psych2Go presents eight things highly intelligent people do. Number one, you can adapt. Are you able to adjust to different environments with ease? Intelligence is not only defined by the ability to gather a lot of information or by repeated memorization or regurgitation, but also your ability to successfully adapt to changes in the environment. This is because it requires many cognitive processes such as perception, learning, memory, and problem solving. Therefore, being able to quickly and efficiently use the information at hand to your advantage is a sign of high intelligence. Number two, Question everything. Do you take on every opportunity you get to learn more about the world? Highly intelligent and curious individuals see every moment as an opportunity to learn. According to a Harvard Review article, CQ or curiosity quotient along with EQ and IQ determines your ability to manage complexity and in information overload. It explains why many hiring managers want candidates who seem curious and conscientious, since those who are innately curious are more motivated to seek answers and learn more. This also means that they accumulate more knowledge throughout their life than those who only rely on their intelligence. Number three, you understand that you don't know everything. Are you able to identify your strengths and your weaknesses? Intelligent people are often perceived as being overconfident, but truly intelligent individuals know that they don't know everything. Admitting that you don't know everything shows high levels of self-awareness as well as metacognition. Highly intelligent people are able to access their strengths and weaknesses and feel encouraged to learn more. Number four, you seek knowledge. Are you always searching for information? The correlation between learning and intelligence is explained by neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to restructure itself. When you learn something new, your brain is creating electrochemical pathways to access that information. However, the key is repetition. Repeating information can strengthen the pathways your neurons have created. The more pathways you create, the more fluid your intelligence will become. Number five, you get bored. Do you get bored a lot? Boredom arises because you're excited about being in a new environment, but you're faced with setbacks that prevent you from engaging with it. While being bored is frustrating, it's actually necessary for creativity and intelligence. A 2019 study published in the Academy of Management Discoveries found that participants who were asked to perform a mundane sorting task performed higher in the later creative section of the study than those who are asked to create a complex story as to why they relate to an event. Number six, you doodle. Has this happened to you before? You're in a meeting or a lecture that has gone on for hours, and despite the boredom you feel, you've started to take notes, but halfway through, your page is covered in doodles. Doodling is your brain's way of trying to stay focused and also processing. Scientists have looked at the brains of doodlers and found activity in the prefrontal cortex which is involved with analytical thinking, memory, problem solving, and logic. A study conducted by Jackie Andrade at the University of Plymouth in the UK monitored participants' levels of engagement and memory during a mock telephone call and found that those who doodled retained 29% more information than those who did not. Number seven, self-examination and reflection. Do you tend to reflect on your decisions and actions? When we think about intelligence, we often think about knowledge-based intellect. However, there are many sides to intelligence. One aspect of it is emotional intelligence or EQ. Those with high levels of EQ are generally self-aware and introspective. They have a clear sense of who they are, such as their emotions, needs, and desires. 
Therefore, they're more likely to establish meaningful relationships and to achieve their goals. And number eight, remaining open. Are you open to different opportunities? Do you enjoy learning about new things? Various studies have investigated the correlation between openness and intelligence and found that the degree of openness can actually affect your fluid intelligence. So being open-minded signals cognitive adaptability and flexibility, which is what keeps you curious and ready to learn. Remember that intelligence cannot be easily measured and it's not fixed. So keep learning and surprising yourself. Let us know if you've done any of the things we've listed in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again.